Hello. Someone asked me to do some word problems in math, and so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the website here, and I wanna just um, look at some of these word problems, and just work along with me, and you can write them down if you want, because I'm not gonna do that. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go here and see what these questions are. Okay. The first one it says that um, Greg and Peter they bought a they bought a large pizza to share, and Greg had uh, five eighths of the pizza. And what fraction of the pizza is left for Peter? Okay, well, this is pretty simple. Okay, you've got eight and you've got five. So, five eighths. So, what makes eight? Three. So, the answer will be three eighths. And the answer says it's three eighths. All right. Okay, next one. It says that Amy, she, sp she spent four ninths of her money and she saved the rest. So what fraction did she save? Again, this is very simple. Okay, if she had four out of nine, she saved five nines, and that's it. Five nines is right. Very good. Okay, not that hard to do. It's simple. It's logic. Okay, math is based on logic. Okay. Next one we're going to do. It says here, Miss Bloom baked a cake. She ate one twelfth of the cake, and she gave seven twelfths to her neighbor. And what fraction does she have left? Well, of course, if she gave, if she ate one eighth or one twelfth, and she and she gave seven twelfths to her neighbor, she ate, or she and her ate eight twelfths, at least four twelfths left. Answer is four twelve, and I'm right. Okay, again, it's based on logic. Okay, let's find a harder one here. Um, uh, Monica and Ryan shared eighteen cookies. Okay, and this one's going to be fun. So we got 18 cookies, all right? Monica, she ate one-sixth of the cookies. Okay, so we know that 6 times 3 is 18, okay? That means that for every 6 cookies, she ate one, okay? So we got 6, 12, 18. She ate one of those. She ate three cookies. All right, so three cookies are gone. Next, we know that Ryan ate one-third of the cookies, okay? And um, three times six is 18. So out of every six cookies, he ate one. So he ate six cookies, okay? So therefore, we've got um, three and we've got six. That means there are nine cookies gone. How many are left? Well, nine, nine is 18. There are nine cookies left. And that's the answer? And I'm right, nine, okay? So that was, you know, that was kind of crafty, but it really wasn't that hard to solve. Again, look at the number, 18, all right? It was 18 cookies. It said that, that Monica ate one-sixth. Again, out of every six cookies, she ate one. Three times six is 18. So out of every group of six, she took one, and she took three. And Ryan, he just broke it down to, to uh, three times six. Of every three group, he took one, and he took six. And there were nine taken away, nine left. Very easy. Okay, good. Again, fractions are not that hard to do. Math is based on logic. Okay, now let's go to this the last one here. It says here, there are usually 30 students in Miss Wagner's third grade class. Aha, but one-fifth of the students were absent. So how many students were in the class? Okay. Five goes into 36 times, okay? So out of every group of five, there was one missing. And so if, if there were six fives and there was one missing, there are six students gone, and there are 24 left. And it says the answer here is 24, I'm right. Okay, so you see, that's really not that hard to do. So I want you to practice those kind of things. Um, find the easy ones first, and just simply see the logic. Word problems are not that hard, and if you if you make them difficult, then they're going to be. But in most cases, they're really easy to figure out. I mean, it's like, you know, I got ten fingers. So if if I put down uh, three tenths of my fingers, you know, what's left? Okay, it's seven. It's not that hard to to see in your mind. Okay, again, logic is what you're looking for, and math is based on logic. Okay, go forth and have fun. Have a great day.